Hello, I'm Emmett Ryan, and welcome to Drinking Irish. It's Monday, I'm back working, boo, although I actually have some pretty good stuff already lined up for this week, which I'll tell you what about as it goes along. But uh, first of all, gotta mention this, because I've noticed in a few of the comments lately, you go, hey, where'd you get the Kent State hat? Where'd you get the Kent State hat? I've mentioned it before on the show, but for those of you who are relatively new, uh, obviously do check out the previous episodes, like, share, subscribe, comment, all that. But uh, my good friend, Scotland, Scotty McLean, uh, he lives in uh, Atlanta, but he's a big Flashes fan, went to Kent State, and so saw the row of hats behind me, he said, you gotta have a Flashes hat, man. I goes, damn right. Uh, so thanks to Scott again for sending the hat, and go Flashes. I'm a big fan of some action. Uh, so tonight's beer, I figured, because uh, I was a bit tired today, unsurprisingly, first day back. So it's from Whiplash, and it's uh, from a, the collaborative project uh, that was done to support hospitality professionals around the world, really, all together now. Well, all together, well, they don't have the full name, all together is what it is. And a Hiplash based in Ballyfermot, uh, not too far really as the crow flies from where I am entirely at all. Although as public transport goes, it's a nightmare. So Dublin, for those of you who aren't dubs or who aren't Irish even, east-west transport, even at the most basic level in this city, is weird, uh, is the best way to put it. For me to get to Ballyfermot by public transport, I will say it's a coin flip if it's fast for me to walk. And that's assuming, by the way, we're starting a timer the moment I get on the bus, the first bus. And that there's another bus waiting for me the moment I get off and get on that. If we're including bus wait, there's no debate. I'd get there faster walking. And that's kind of ridiculous, to be honest. Uh, but that's another story for another day. But there you go. So whiplash all together. Uh, and, you know, listen, uh, it's hosted by other half brewing the this whole project. So shout out to them as well. And uh, let's, let's have a go at this. Oh, I should really say what type of beer it is before I pour it, shouldn't I? Uh, it's an IPA, 6.5%. As you can tell, I got it entirely because of what the beer was about rather than what it was in it. Uh, because I, I should have known IPA should have took my head there. Uh, interesting, cloudy enough one, although kind of... Like, I'm looking at this and kind of going, it's definitely got some grapefruit going on in the flavour, like, because whenever I see that sort of coloration, that's the first thing that comes to mind. Now, I haven't even got a sniff of this yet, but we'll find out. Oh, show you the can again. Yay, this is totally for the Facebook, for, for the YouTube still, hoping to get one of these. Uh, who knows what they'll get. I'm doing this later than I want to do, and I'm a bit tired, uh, and i got a big freaking couple of days ahead of me work-wise, but sure, fuck it. Uh, whew, let's have a sip and a sniff first. Actually, there's a fair bit of grapefruit out to know, so I got that spot on. Here comes the lilt man. Lilt. Uh, totally tropical taste, perhaps? Uh, I loved lilt as a teenager. I used to skull it. Uh, my taste buds, as I got a bit older, frankly, I can't stand this stuff anymore. I'm much more of a Coca-Cola man. But, I mean, I used to adore lilt. Chilled. Oh, yeah. I used to be mad for it. Mm. Nice dank grapefruit and a bit of mango going on there as well. Yeah. Good beer. I'm and I'm liking it room temp. I can see an argument for chilling it though. You can force a bit more of the grapefruit out, possibly chilling it. Uh, well, not so much force more of it out, but like, you know, appreciate it a bit, bit, bit better. But, uh, yeah, this is good. This is good. Uh, so, yeah, listen. We're all dealing with a crap load at the moment, obviously. Uh, not the funnest time of the world, but, you know. Well, I'm not going to try and pretend I can beat out of bluffing right now, but what I will say is this. Uh... Be smart. Look after yourself. Look after those you can look after. Do what you can to help people. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, make sure remember to eat as well. That's always good. And as I always say, the trick is to keep breathing. Big garbage fan. Cilantro Live Galaire.